Care Florida, the Orlando team has expanded and we're one big family. I love the people I work with. I love Maha and Aaron and Alicia and Tarek. It's definitely a powerful dynamic and I can't wait to expand the team and to continue to grow together. So I'm excited to have this new team on the, is that your phone? Yes, it is your phone. Oh my God, I love Rasha. I think she's great. She's so organized. She's so well-spoken. That has to be <laughs> having. She's such a powerhouse. So when she gets on the stage and she starts speaking, you can tell it's really genuine and sincere because she's so passionate about it. We are the largest civil rights organization that focuses on Muslims and any other minorities here at the state of Florida. The cases that we handle here at CARE range from employment discrimination to hostile work environments to problems with travel to just about every type of case revolving around your civil rights. And it's not just the Muslim organization, they stand up for anyone who needs help. Any civil rights violations, anyone who needs justice and can't afford it, CARE is there as a nonprofit to help them out. And that was something I really wanted to be a part of, just to like give back to the community and help as much as possible. Being Jewish my whole life is something that has kind of like forced me to recognize that many people have to deal with oppression, many people want you out of certain spaces, and I want to make sure that this country, this state, Florida, Orlando is a place for everyone, no matter what religion, what ethnicity, and I feel like CARE does a really great job of that. I feel like they do a lot of good work to combat Islamophobia as well as support other marginalized groups in the community while doing it. We've been really strong in coalition building. We have what we call here in Orlando the movement family. And because these relationships are so organic and they happened over time, over years, these are real raw relationships. That's why the backlash wasn't so extreme post pulse is because we had our Latino brothers, our LGBTQ brothers and sisters standing together and standing united on this forefront to end bigotry, to end hate on all levels and to fight for civil liberties for all. We're part of immigration coalitions, ensuring that law enforcement agencies do not comply with ICE. There's a very insignificant number of how many people have been deported in comparison to the Obama administration. What is real is the rhetoric the intention, the climate that's created because of these executive orders. And we're in this fight together. Islamophobia is not new. It's moved from the fringes of society to mainstream, where it's part of a $200 million network where Islamophobes are working a nine to five shift to ensure that their anti-Islamic agenda is pushed. Being the Central Florida Regional Director in CARE Florida means I am the liaison between the Muslim community and the non-Muslim community with the elected officials, the media, different community centers, the interfaith work that we have on the ground. We also work with law enforcement agencies in different counties. We facilitate Islam 101 trainings so they're able to better interact with the Muslim community and understand the Muslim community. These trainings are also geared towards different community centers, universities, faculty. We saw recently in Brevard County. I had to drive over to Melbourne to testify about not removing any kind of text regarding Islam in the ninth grade world history books. The fact that it's 2017 and we are testifying against such a rhetoric that's so dangerous to not only the Muslim community but our teachers, our faculty, our staff that are trying to create an atmosphere, a climate where people can explore and learn about different religions and inclusivity, intersectionality, that's being compromised. Oftentimes people always ask me, what's the most challenging part of your job? I tell them I can deal with death threats. I can deal with old men getting in my face and calling me terrorist. It's the bullying cases that keep me up at night, not just peer on peer, but faculty and staff on students. When I see little boys losing their hair because of post-traumatic stress symptoms, that's what's heart-wrenching. And that is why I continue to do the work that I do. If we refresh our intentions and really remember what our American values stand for, we will know what side of history we want to be on. We want to be on the right side of justice. And that's what CARE Florida is fighting for. We want to expand our team. We want to hire new people. We want to create a larger space where more interns and volunteers and possibly even more staff can continue to do the work here at CARE Florida. We need the resources to continue to do that. If you feel your rights have been violated either in the workplace or at school or in any public accommodation, 
come to us and we'll give you a voice.